we got something special for you today we're gonna do a gutter machine install into a truck we're also gonna do some maintenance on it we're gonna show you how to clean it how to lubricate it so your machine is running top notch let's get right to it all right so i'm gonna show you how to maintain your gutter machine this one is a six inch machine and we're gonna lubricate all the chains using gear oil you want these chains to drive nice and smooth we're gonna also clean the rollers those blue things right there i'm just gonna use a rag with an acetone we're gonna get this machine cleaned up refurbished it's new machine just been sitting for a while it's really dusty we're gonna clean all right it. today we are doing some maintenance on the gutter machine i'm using gear oil to lubricate the chains so i'm gonna just apply it to the chains and i love the sound it makes it's a well-oiled machine maintain your gutter machine Well oiled machine. New tech machinery. I love the sound that makes. Really good gear oil. I'm gonna let it spin for a little bit and I'm gonna go reverse. And this machine's gonna be ready to go. I did put some paper on the bottom. That way when it's all done, I can remove it and we're gonna be nice and clean. We're gonna go reverse. We're gonna go forward. We're gonna make sure it's nice and lubricated. Don't stick your fingers in here. It's not gonna be fun. All right, so now we're gonna wash the rollers. I'm gonna use acetone, put some on a rag. Don't stick your fingers in there. Use like a hammer or something. And we're gonna clean the rollers that way when it's hot outside the gutter won't make the marks on it you see how dirty these are this one's okay it's pretty safe you see how blue that turned we're gonna clean these rollers off to get all the see that that's a huge difference all right let's wash this upper one All right, it's getting getting better. All right, check it out, brand new. Everything's oiled, cleaned. Machine is new. It was just really dusty. But check this out, folks. Back to its original state ready to go make some gutter so this is how uh, inside of the gutter machine looks with the covers off this is just a six inch machine so it's not adjustable if it was adjustable this thing would move these things would move those things would move this bar can actually still move but doesn't need to be and then Obviously, you would have stoppers here to change the width of the coil. But this is just set to six. Never have to mess with it. It's a new tech. Very nice. So now that the machine is cleaned, ready to go, we got our man lift here. Man lift? Forklift. We have an extension arm on it. And we have two chains and it lifts it right off the ground. So, nice and stable. We're gonna load this into a truck.
So we have the full size cradle, it's a little heavy. So we decided just to use the forklift on it as well. And we're gonna put it on the back of the machine. Super amazing, super exciting. So this is gonna be out in the back. Right here, you're gonna have a spool because you want that coil to go up and over and in so it doesn't kink right here. So we're waiting for our, our new machine to show up. It's gonna have two spools. One spool will go here. We'll take it off the new machine. And then this machine came with two of these. So we're gonna take this one and put it on the second machine. So they'll be paired up nicely. So now that we have the machine in, we made sure the door closes. We have plenty of space clearance because you wanna be right next to the buttons here. You don't want the machine too far in. So now we're gonna install grade eight bolts to secure the machine to the truck. These bolts went through the wood, through the metal frame. So this machine ain't going nowhere. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure the guillotine is nice and functional. I mean, it does say someplace to lubricate it. So we wanna make sure the knife is gonna cut like butter. There's a huge difference when cutting gutters. That was a fun project, getting this machine installed. You gotta have the right equipment and knowledge, but look at this, it's so amazing. It's right here. You don't have to reach very far. The door is basically maxed out to get it uh, as close as possible. It's new. We have room for one more machine right down the center. It's gonna be five inch. We're waiting for that to come in. This truck is actually sold uh, to a customer over in Texas. They're gonna come pick it up and go straight to work. They're probably not even gonna stop by their house because this thing is gonna be ready to roll. They might need a few materials, of course, but we got gutter stands, easy to access right here. You don't have to go far. So you just yank them out, start rolling your gutters. Both machines are gonna be powered by that generator right there. And if the customer wants, they can plug into the house or into the generator right here. There's, there's the generator or the house. So either way, we usually use the generator, but we got a torch in there. We got all the screws. We got microwave, we got ladder racks, all sorts of fun stuff. We have a bathroom in there with a sink. All right, so this gutter truck is equipped with a porta potty, a battery tender. So we have a generator. I don't know if you call it a generator. I guess a power pack, microwave, and those things are exterior lights on both sides if you need to see something. You got hand warmer or dryer. You got a sink, very easy to operate. You can wash your hands, soap. This is the cool part right here. So this is a, about a foot, about a foot tall. So there's my shoe right there. Maybe my shoe's a little bigger. But if you're gonna get one of these, you need a plate. This is a $30 plate. That way this thing will lock in. Let me see if I can lift it with one hand. So this, when it slides in, you push that in. Okay, so this half is removable. This is a nice clean one. You can remove that. Inside here is your battery. So if you twist this, there's six AA batteries. These ones I think are good for now. So very easy to use, put that back on so you, it's flushable. Here you refill the water and there's a water indicator. So the other thing I wanna do since this is a fresh, basically new bathroom, is get one of these. We're gonna set it in here. Also, we're gonna use a porta pack It's like an RV fresh scent we're gonna drop those in so we're gonna open that
and they look like this. I'm just gonna throw that in there, and this will go on top. Let me see if I can rip this open. So this will give it a nice, nice fresh smell. So that will go in there. And once the water hits it, it activates the scent. Super amazing. So there you have it. Restroom, sink, and a gutter machine. These shelves you can utilize for and caps outlets. You got a fan in here. Lots of box storage for elbows. These things open up. If you need to clean it inside the, the scrap box. So this little build right here gives me that extra third seat inside the cab. So here's an example. I'm hooked up to the house, to the shop, and I can turn the machine on. So this powers all the accessories. It's actually charging the generator, the power pack right now. Once I'm plugged into the house, I have power here. If I wanted to disconnect from the house, I would take this off and put this cord into the generator cord and feed backwards. Um, I also have for the third or the second machine, we have a hole in the floor. When the machine goes in here, we're gonna have a wire underneath the floor connecting the second machine. So everything gets powered with one cord. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the final and then we'll do a, a nice walk around with the truck when it's all done. Thank you and God bless.